Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Rocket Girl Show. My name is Belinda Wasser, also known as Rocket Girl. And if you're joining us live, welcome. Thank you. And if you are watching the replay, welcome. Either way, if you have any questions throughout this broadcast, please just put them in the comment section. And uh, before we leave today, I'm going to check and make sure there aren't any questions that need to be answered. And I will keep an eye on the um, on the replay to make sure I answer your questions there as well. Today's, um, today's episode is presented by the VA Connection. And for those of you who don't know about the VA Connection yet, the VA Connection is a professional online community with the goal of educating and connecting virtual assistants all over the world. We have a wonderful Facebook group that I'd like to enjoin, uh, invite you to join. You can find it a couple of ways. One is by typing the virtual assistant connection in the search bar at the top of Facebook. And the second is with this bit.ly, bitly.vaconnection.com. We have, um, I think we're at about 560 members. There's lots of information there, videos like this, trainings, all kinds of information on best practices, whether you're just starting out as a virtual assistant, thinking about becoming a VA, or you're a seasoned uh, virtual assistant veteran like me after nine years. So I hope you'll uh, I hope you'll check it out. Today we're going to talk about what happens when I bring on a new client. So I have a checklist um, that I follow, and I'm going to share that with you. And that's because at the beginning of your relationship with your clients, it's very important that you set the tone and let them know the best ways to work with you. It's it's a way um, in some instances of you know sort of setting boundaries and uh, letting them know what to expect. So let me go through this list with you. Okay. The first thing I do is I send um, what I call my welcome email. It tells them, this is where I kind of tell them the rules of the road, when I'll be at my desk, uh, how quickly they can expect a response from me. Um, it also talks about my pricing, how to schedule a meeting with me, and how I'll let them know how much time is left on their Rocket Girl debit card, which is the way that I um, that I charge and price uh, my services. So that's something that's really important to me. Now, here's the key. I wrote it. I had it edited. I had it checked for spelling. And I made it a template. So I use the same one every single time. I don't recreate the wheel or rethink it or wonder, you know, should I include this? Should I not? It's done. The only thing I do is it um, references the the year, the, the number of year that we're in. So in January, I'll change the date reference from 2019 to 2020, and I'm set for a whole um, next year. Number two, I send my W-9. For those of you who are not in the United States, a, a W-9 is a government document that we are required as um, independent contractors to send to um, clients and people who we provide services for. It has information that they need in order to do their taxes. I didn't used to do this in the beginning, um, but clients kept asking for it near tax time. So I thought, why don't I be proactive and give it to them at the beginning of our relationship? Now, does that mean that people never ask for it again? No, they absolutely do. They lose it. They don't know where it is. But what it does is, is something um, something a little unexpected. It establishes once more that I'm in business for real, that I know the laws, I know what my clients need to have a, you know, a working relationship with me, that I have it already scanned and ready to go, and I send it to them on the second day that uh, after they buy their debit card and are ready to get uh, started with me. So that's number two. Number three, I add them to my CRM. As part of buying their Rocket Girl debit card, they send me their address and their preferred phone number. So I make sure that this is in my CRM uh, and that syncs with my phone. So when they call me, I know exactly who it is. Number four, I add them to my time tracking software, which most of you know I use Toggle. Number five, I connect with them on LinkedIn. I do this for two reasons. One is I want to follow their, um, you know, what's happening with them on LinkedIn, their business, anything that they post, so I'm up to date. But the second is it gives them an invitation really to look at my profile. 
I've spent a lot of time on my LinkedIn profile, making sure it's professional and up to date and has recommendations. And so this is a way, um, a subtle way that I can invite them to uh, view that and get to know me and what, what I can do with them a little bit better. I add them to my email newsletter subscriber list. I, I want to be able to uh, make sure that they get every uh, issue of my newsletter rocket fuel that goes out so that they can also get ideas for ways that we can work together and get to know me a little bit better. Number seven, I create a project for them in teamwork. Teamwork is the project management software that I use. So I go ahead and I create um, the project for them in that software. And I create a folder for them in Dropbox. Number nine, I set up a note for them in Evernote. I have a, a notebook called Rocket Girl Clients and I create a note so I'm ready to take, take down any information that I need to um, while we're working together. Now, the reason that I do all of these preparation steps is so that if they wanna get going the very next day with me, I am ready. I'm not fumbling, wasting time. Um, I don't have to worry about, did I forget something? Did I not, you know, did I take care of them in the way that I wanted to? It's all right here on this checklist and I use it every single time. Two more steps. I send them a welcome gift. I, as you know, have a lot of fun with the whole rocket girl idea. So I send them a rocket pen and I send it with Br rocket girl branded, Stationary. It's just a little note card that I purchased and I write a very brief handwritten note right there and um, and I send it along. I try to send it within the first week of our, um, our relationship and they get a really big kick out of it. There's been many of my clients have sent me a picture uh, of the of the rocket pen on their desk. And number 11, I send a referral gift. I want the people who refer clients to me to know how much I appreciate them. So I went into the town, um, my town is called New Canaan, and I worked with the owner of the uh, store, New Canaan Olive Oil, and I put together a gift with her that is um, two small bottles of olive oil with a little ceramic dish and some special herbs that they can uh, combine and share with their family and use it for dipping breads or other things. Um, together. So I, again, made it a standard gift so that I'm not thinking about it each time. I've been very satisfied with it for years. Heidi, the woman that owns um, New Canaan Olive Oil, she has these handwritten cards as well. So what happens when I send her, and sh she has my credit card on file. So when I send her an email and say, please send this gift to with the address that I have because I collected that when they bought their debit card, and then I um, also include a special personalized note that does change each time. And she handwrites it and sends it right out. So that is my checklist. It really allows me to be consistent, thorough, and be ready to go as soon as my clients um, want, to, want to start you know, with the first project. So let me just check over in the comments and see if anybody has a question. I'm just going to pause for a moment before, um, because the video tends to lag and I wanna make sure that they have time to ask a question. And in the meantime, you can see up on your screen uh, the invitation to join us on Facebook. I'd love to have you. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so let's see. Let's give it another minute. Okay. All right. There are no questions right now. I'll check back on the replay. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching The Rocket Girl Show. I'm Belinda Wasser, Rocket Girl, signing off. Until next time, bye-bye.